have to wait for a second because the game has already begun and looks like it's, it's going to be a rematch. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Bermuda is going to kick in and. Uh, Purgatory. Oh, Purgatory. Oh, my bad. Uh, that, that happens, you know, <laughs> when you love a, uh, love a specific map so much. But yeah, Purgatory it is going to be, and looks like Hawks Gaming are going to be the first team to drop in and start finding in those crispy loots. And uh, this this is exactly what I was talking about, right? The game being rehosted can can be at the admin's discretion, even though the blood had been shed. But then again, it was a very unique situation, and that's really cool. Ooh, did you see the landing though? Yeah. Wow. I, I'm not sure if that's incredibly hard or easy to actually get. Uh, to me, as a player, it's pretty difficult. There is a certain degree of skill that you need to do that. You know, landing directly inside the window, I think yep. that, that has to be really... Ooh, whoa. <laughs> yep, for those who don't know, you can actually hide in a barrel. What? Yes, you can hide in a barrel, you can shoot wow. from the barrel, but uh, it's just If a you troll. shoot that barrel, uh, that guy's dead, right? It will explode and he will die. <laughs> Then there's no point in hiding. I, in the barrel. I think I think I found th this is the point where I fall in love with this game. <laughs> wow! Hiding in a barrel that causes you to love this game. No, really? The point that you can <laughs> hide in a barrel, but you can explode at the same time. Fair that's point. I think I, I wow. think I think that's love in a sentence in itself. <laughs> All is well, my friend. All is All well. All is well. I I I I don't know why, but I feel like Confucius right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Looks like uh, Team Valerian. Yeah, gonna be looking in for a bit of an action from Team King's God. Where DV is gonna ch is gonna take a lot of damage onto his himself, takes him down to 65 points of health. Well, the uh, the healing is gonna come in. It looks like Team Valerian is looking for more. They're pushing up. Two players from Team Valerian with the name of Rainbow Indian and Soham are gonna push in towards King's God. It is gonna be RD and BLK. We are gonna be the first point of contact right there on towards that house. And looks like King's God, the backup, is going to come in. And look, oh. there you go. The first blood is already in from uh, Radevai of Team Nawab Zale Mamba. Yeah, they managed to take down one member from WAG from there. But again, the perspective between Valerian and King's God most likely will be interrupted by No Mercy. As pass, uh, time passes by, I think we are much more uh, adaptable to the team's needs regarding of their numbers in play. But you can see that they are still scattered around collecting loot collecting weapons, making sure they are well armed and prepared for what's coming up in this worst case scenario. Man, Team No Mercy, look at that position. They're already pushing in and looks like they might be able to take down Team Valerian as soon as they are about to make their way into that specific house. But looks like uh, Ritesh is uh, going in for a bit of a flank. He's going in the opposite direction. It's like he just wants to wrap around uh, there towards Team Valerian. And like I said again, the Indian teams tend to play <laughs> as a unit. And maybe <coughs> yes, they would do the 2 by 2 by the system or have one person to do the lurking zone while the other tree still sticks. But if you notice the distance between these strategies or this particular gameplay is still a whole unit. So at least they are able to keep each other safe on check. Or at the very least, if one person is down, they're able to recover. However, the four-man rotation does have its traits uh, of as well. They have their weaknesses. If one man is down, if the other person could not rotate quickly, they could jeopardize the rest of the team members in play, and it would cost them the tournament lifeline in hand. Moving forward, bad boy tower over here, team whack, the whack team that I am trying to swag off here with the chain, chain, chain. Later onwards, uh, looking forward to camp around. This tower. I know you guys are smoking left and right. But I know you all want you need to sing, but they will be <laughs> facing against Punisher here, waiting game right now. It's not, just, it's not just singing. We actually like it's the not enthusiasm yeah. that you have for the song, and the love for the song is what makes us, you know, really, really happy. But <laughs> I uh, mean, your excitement for the country—that's <laughs> the best part. I, I think that comes from Jalebi. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's just not talk about food right now, because yeah. uh, looks like we are about to go hungry. But who's more hungry is Team Number Seven. With Wag with the name and of Wag. Punisher is from, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is Team, team Punisher. Punisher. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. <laughs> okay then, but nonetheless, they are on the opposite sides of the road. I'm sure they realize where the other guys are as well. So it is. And you know, he, you want to hear more? What? Saki 47 carrying the AK 47. So yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, one clap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, done. Let's go. Let's you, go back to the game. You take over, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Should we shut him off? Yeah. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. Hello, bro. Okay, you know what? Yeah, again, uh, AK 47s, couple of weapons. Everybody knows perhaps where are their locations at, but who will strike first? Looks like Team Wag are going to be going in for a bit of a passive play. No, I think I think Wag will be the one they'll strike first because they have perfect vision on the other guys, and if they move out, 
you know, they'll have the better shot because they have the high ground as and well. And with the yeah. UAV deployed as well, it is going to give away the position of Team Punisher if they go into that specific or in zone on the map, which you can see. I, you know, this is this is where uh, how KBC mentioned uh, the role of a lurker comes in. You can send in the lurker, ask him to uh, you know scout other positions because you're not giving away the position of your entire team. You're only yeah. giving, away the, giving away the position of one player. So, well, I uh, know that that could be a really really smart play coming in. But for now, we do have kings. Then uh, lover boy team number eleven is no mercy if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And one more team, team number ten, right next to each other. So it's going to be a Mexican so standoff. It's going to be Valerian, Kingsguard, and team no mercy. Yes, correct. Three teams side by side with one another, but again, no engagements at this point. It's about the patient play. Whoever strikes first, that oh will be it. Oh, look at that oh, case. Indian. What is he doing? Why is he not, not waiting? Shooting? Trigger discipline here, gentlemen. Trigger discipline. They don't want to put themselves in a bad situation, but they're going to start the fight right now. Oh, the nade is going to be coming in, and looks like that is going to be a flashbang, right? Yeah, there you go. The knock is going to be coming in, and so is going to be the kill. And Adi, oh, he's going to be left out by his team, man. No, but you know, the, the, the entire point right now is to try and get as much information as they can. Look at that. BLK falling back. They're trying to take control of the house, which they have successfully. And BLK, is he... Yeah, he's trying to go back, fall back, make sure that he doesn't get hit. But he's moving in the wrong direction. He could actually take a couple of bullets. Now, he's going to go back inside the house and talk about the other team's King's God. Sorry, yeah. King's God. Hunter Design is going to be going up as well. So they need to regroup. That is the most important thing right now. Yes, they could go in for the backstab, but the problem is they have no mercy behind BLK as well. So... It's three teams, and the guy who's backstabbing can get backstabbed as well. So they're trying to sandwich, make the sandwich work. But I think at that point, the only distraction that is ever going to work out is the fact that, and again, the mobs are in the meantime could be facing off against Punisher because they know exactly where the other team is. He's coping and trying to find the frag, or maybe just try and dish out some damage, keep them at bay while the other team, uh, while the other team members go and push in and close in on the distance. But uh, it's turning out to be a rather slow game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, every single player is just playing way too passive right now. They just don't want to give up. I mean, they just don't want to die to the mighty AKs that the opponents have, or whether it be scars in this case. But uh, this time around, though, Punisher, they're going to move out. They're going to move in towards the circle while they're going to they're gonna get shot from the back. All thanks to uh, Team Nawab Zade. And it looks like VRC is going to be losing his life. Rade going around the corner and uh, a beautiful blue wall is going to be deployed in as well and Jigger dishing out so much damage on towards Mohamed looking for more going to be going in for the frag from behind the blue wall and there he goes he's going to knock out Mohamed right there and, and as soon as Daku is going to be going in for the revival he's going to dish out Daku as well so Daku Mohamed down from team uh, Punisher and uh, looks like we have got uh, two more players uh, alive and kicking from team Punisher Oh, Team Punisher though, they are losing members through the knockouts as the Punisher most likely be the last man standing. Yes, he is the last man standing. He's the only member still standing strong for his team as Muhammad will be killing off here. The M60 just raining now Havoc onto Team Nawasade. But then again, Punisher, can he one on four or at least one on three against the team that is lurking in front of him? It's one versus four. It's tough, my friend. And he is in the bad, bad spot to run. Oh, Rade! No, that's a one shot, one kill. Beautiful stuff coming in from Rade, man. But, yep, the AWM is going to reign supreme. <laughs> one shot, um, one kill. Um, the <laughs> There's actually one more Arctic sniper. Oh, Arctic back, sniper. Back in the day, back mm. in the day, it used to be called the Arctic uh, sniper something, something. I don't remember it correctly. Oh, yeah. But, you know, th it has a couple of names, but it's the same gun at the end of the day. And I think all the kids who've grown up, grown up playing first person shooter games, they have a special place in the half of this yeah. because it's been around in most of the games. But getting back to this one, we do have No Mercy along with uh, team number 10, team number 3. That is King's God. And again, what could be a potential. Mexican standoff, but we do have King's God going in, playing playing really, really safe. No mercy, need to move into the circle, but the people, the team, which has a circle in their favor and they could hold the line off is King's God. So this is going to be really, really interesting to see if King's God can actually capitalize on this because no mercy, they are about to get sandwiched from two different directions if they try and move on. I think they, could, they should probably just play the zone, but the problem right now is the fact that it's not just the first zone, right? It is the second one? No, no, second, second or third? This is the second. Yeah, this is the second one. Yep. So, second zone is something you can still chew up and then again just, you know, having some mushrooms. Kids, uh, well, unless it's FIFA, you can you can have mushrooms, otherwise, stay away from shrooms. Because <laughs> they're poisonous? <laughs> yes, of yep. course. Set.
I mean, not all the mushrooms are poisonous, right? I mean, yeah, I'm trying to differentiate between a poisonous mushroom and, and a non-poisonous I mean, yeah. That's the question. Yes. That's the question. Mm. And See? well, they're going to go in for the drop <laughs> as well. And uh, hopefully they get they get a lot better. Wow, this is the first supply drop that we saw from uh, in the day, right? If I'm not mistaken, yes. And yeah. the one of the members of Team Nightmare, they picked up the Groza. So I just gonna share you with information. Groza is a weapon, a restricted weapon that you find from supply drops or the bounty tokens, like I mentioned uh, for the first kill. The Groza is basically the damage of the AK-47 with the fire rate of the MP40. Tommy Scar. I would Scar. say Scar. Yeah. Okay. It's wow. the perfect assault rifle. I would say. Scar. Scar. Again. Oh my God. That's gonna be deadly. Uh, I think it's empty. Oh! Oh, the AWM. It's oh. the AWM. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the the AWM. Boy. <laughs> we have two arms, a Groza on the map. Yep. So this is going to be an absolute bloodbath right now. And we do have teams which have been playing really, really well. But again, wait, no mercy actually made inside the circle somehow. With, with King's God not doing anything well. Huh, interesting. Yeah, not really not sure what the, that play coming in from King's God was. But, yep. Now, I think no mercy have successfully made their way into the circle. Cool. Cool. But yeah, okay. Trying to spot out some players. Trying to, you know, go in for some. Uh, oh, the kings, kings. Do they get it here. They get yep. the shot. PVS Gaming is going to be going down, courtesy of DV and the M4. And looks like No Mercy are going to be running for their lives for now. But look who's waiting for them on the other side. It's going to be Jazz B and his boys. They're towards the artist's position, towards the right hand side. And as soon as Black is going to be spotted, which he should anytime soon. On the other side of the map, we have got VRC1000 who's going to be taking care of Soham from Team Valerian. So it looks like Team Nawab Zade, they have got great, uh, great things going on in their favor in this specific game though. Now they are going to be moving in towards the circle. Oh, the circle. We're going to move past them and VRC. He needs to move in towards the circle and start, uh, you know, healing up. Yeah, I feel like what? this is the best position for them to push in quickly without any adversaries in front of them. They are able to use this opportunity to get into the safer zones and put themselves in the prime position across the buildings. That is true, and uh, the circle's closing in. We still have 11 teams alive. And now we actually have a fight coming in, so it is going to be No Mercy versus Thugs of India. Uh, no Mercy, they've been, taking some, they've been taking some heavy hits, and right now Black End, he needs to heal up really, really soon. He's going to put up the wall as well, making sure that he has a fair fight towards him and wow. he doesn't he's gonna move away uh, of course he needs to because he's n he didn't have the health that's yeah. he doesn't even have the backup but now black is taking a lot of damage but he's gonna go back is he gonna get taken no i don't think so because he's gonna make his way towards cover pretty pie in the meantime though trying to go and you know scope spam oh i'm just gliding down Whoop. oh wow what is that no, it's, a, it's, a, it's just him gliding down yeah but apart from wow. that uh pvs he's gonna be going up pewdiepie pie just hide in the battle please i want to see that once <laughs> it doesn't really happen in professional games, does it? But in the middle! Oh! Yeah, why was he standing there? In the middle! And uh, now we actually have my Hawk. Might be able to get a flag right now, but he needs to go around the corner. We do have Rakesh coming up. Kenny ba back is even up. The Butcher waiting out around the corner. He knows there is someone behind the blue wall. And right now, Cool Athena and Ribbon. Okay, then. Oh, he's going to go around the corner. Ribbon is going to get knocked down. He's going to get taken down as well. Actually, never mind. He gets a double kill. Sorry, it's going to be Butcher who gets a double kill. He needs to fall back. He's going to go around the oh! corner. And Butcher as well. How in the world is he making this happen? But Cool all alone in a 1v3. Is going to survive this one. This is going to be really, really interesting. They actually don't realize it is a 1v4. He's inside the shack and he's going to wait it out. He's going to, he's going to listen to all the footsteps in the world. But the glue wall has been destroyed. He's going to get spotted as well. He's going to go down. That was so, so unfortunate. And well, he could have definitely played that better. But I, I guess it's, it was a glue wall that gave away his position. Yeah, sadly to say that the glue wall makes some noises and of course with the footsteps, uh, you know, teams are just using the footsteps into their advantage, able to get the knock on to that member and unfortunately for Valerian, they are out again early in this game. Yeah, Hawks Gaming did a pretty good job there towards Team Valerian, able to take them all down, all thanks to Butcher and his butchering skills. <laughs> <laughs> Now they're going to be moving away in towards the circle with uh, the help of the... Oh, oh my god, why did they do that jump? No, they do that is because they don't want to go nearer to the hot zone over there. There are multiple Yeah, but they also don't have medkits, right? So it's uh, better not to shove up so many HP. I mean, they can have the bad boy tower for themselves, so they are able to cam around there oh, and take the prime position for look themselves. At, look at King's... Go look at Blue oh, okay, he's going to die to the circle. It. Yeah, I mean, there's no way you could just fight it. There's no med kits left for this team. So it's coming down to the last eight teams with 29 players left alive in this match. 
Wow, nice Tugs over there. Uh, 18, pretty if there's alive, you do have Tugs over there moving in. They have the zone on the back, so they have they have one less area to worry about. In the meantime, Hawks, they need to move in as well, but... Okay, then Mutant, he's going to get eliminated. He's going... Well, Ho Black Hawk is tapping away, scope spamming, but for the moment, he needs to move in while the other team is getting third party and they're not worth it. But look at that, Sitak. He's just jump shooting. Yeah, jump shooting, but then he will be losing Iconic here. Iconic has fallen down. And now Nightmare, they go into the prime position to get the championship spot, but they are losing members without any buffs for this. It has Delta, one on one, but they're not enough. It's not a fair fight, leaving only Vicky left alive here. Yeah, it's gonna be half gaming that will have the advantage right here. But Vicky says, no, 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 I'm gonna stay alive. I want to revive my teammates in this particular game. Who wants to pop up here? Can he get a revive? But no! Look at the multiple bullets just striking down it's rain from death and now this is going to be a vicky and said hot the last two members of nightmare they have to run they have to get into the safe zone ladies and gentlemen is not looking too good the safe zone is not in your favor meanwhile multiple teams are in this prime proximity this could be it this could be the winner for this round if they play their cards right Indeed, Hogs Gaming, they're gonna be moving in towards the fight and there, towards two of the teammates, be it No Mercy and team number seven. And Lord Raj coming in right on the corner from the left hand side. And this is gonna be a flood card. This specific part of the map is gonna turn into a graveyard anytime soon. No Mercy moving in towards Blackhawks. And looks like PBS Gaming can do more, but no, there's Team Bag coming in from the back line, taking them down. And it is gonna be Hatyara, who should be the MVP of that specific clip, man. Beautiful stuff coming in from him. As well, Namune, they're still alive though. They have a decent chance at this. And well, lover boy, he might just get taken out. Of course, he's been knocked out, but there's no chance in hell that he's going to get revived. And now Black and I think is the lone. No, never mind. He has one more teammate to work with. So it is going to be a tough situation. Four teams alive. One player. I think it's No Mercy with two players alive. So this is going to be really, really tough. And I think now it's just one. No Mercy with just one guy. And we've got four teams alive and kicking in the last circle. Yeah, this is the last circle, right? So yeah, there's going to be a lot of CQC coming in for I, I, you, I, ladies I, and gentlemen. And Team Vag. And Blacken is actually going to play the smarter way. You know, two teams are already engaging each other. Oh. All Blacken has to do is just stay alive, not get spotted and not give away his position. For now, we do have Vag losing on one more play. And the bombs are the other ones who are still alive. And okay then. Okay. <laughs> Oh, plays on Wiki is actually going to go down to plays on Rag. Looks like Rag. Yeah. Oh, Roger needs to stay alive, but he needs to move in as well. At the same time, it's going to be really, really tough. Can he make this happen? Though? I don't think so. Oh, no. he's going to get taken. He just needs. I think he should probably fall back. Oh my God! And just going for the melee. Oh, he's going, going to go for, for the, the melee. Oh no, he's going to go for the suicide. But then it is going oh. to be Nawa Zade winning that round, winning the Buya right here. This is going to be their second Buya, by the way, winning the previous round in. Game two, same map in Purgatory. I think it's, it's, it has to be one of the favorite maps. The way the way they've been uh, you know, performing in it, and I think uh, yeah, I mean you, you can see it. The face.